Question number five, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister responsible for climate change issues and asks, is he concerned that New Zealand's failure to commit to a greenhouse gas reduction target at the current Bonn climate change talks will damage our clean green brand? The Honourable Speaker. Dr Nick Smith. Uh, no. Uh, New Zealand has committed to a 50 per cent reduction in our 1990 emissions by 2050 and to a global target of stabilising carbon dioxide levels at 450 parts per million. We will be stating our 2020 target at the August negotiations. Members will be aware of the wild variations in New Zealand's emissions data because of the uncertainty over forestry. We want to get the satellite data from the Lucas scheme of which the government has committed millions in the next month so that we can make realistic and achievable targets by 2020. Supplementary. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is he proud that at the international climate change negotiations in Bonn, New Zealand is competing with Russia as to who will be the very last country at the negotiations to table a mid-term emission reduction target and how does this add to our clean and green reputation? Yeah. Dr. Dr. Nick Smith. The first point I would make to the member is most of the countries that have committed to so-called targets have actually committed to a wide range uh, where they've sort of said, look, if the international community comes on board, we'll do this, or if nobody comes on board, we'll do that. Uh, the government has not received uh, any job, concern job, from other countries about the fact that New Zealand wants to take its time about setting that 2020 target. Uh, that is a very important target for New Zealand to set, sit, set, and it is the government's intention to go about that in a very careful and considered way. Charles Chevelle. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Minister surprised that New Zealand was awarded the Daily Fossil Award at the Climate Change Talks today in Bonn, given that today's excuse for not naming a 2020 target is apparently the need for public consultation, but April's excuse was the need for further data. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, uh, Mr Speaker, I would note that during the term of the previous government uh, that New Zealand received that so-called fossil award uh, on several occasions. Uh, the fact is that the previous government committed to New Zealand being carbon neutral and for all of that, emissions increased at a greater rate than almost any other developed country. I make absolutely no apologies for this government wanting to take a very considered view of the target that we will set for 2020, noting that that is a binding one which will have huge implications for New Zealand. Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Can the Minister tell us, uh, is he waiting to set a target as a result of waiting for this satellite data that he spoke of in his first answer, or is he waiting to set a target to conduct a consultation as he told, or his government told, the international negotiations in Bonn? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, both, both are correct. We have satellite data coming from the Lucas scheme, of which the government has spent over $10 million. We are due to get that data in July. That is critical. Members opposite would know that variation in figures around forestry can make a difference of up to 10 to 20 per cent on New Zealand's emissions debt data. It is also the government's intention on a target that's set for New Zealand for 2020 for us to engage with the public about what would be an appropriate level for us to commit to as a government. Dr Supplement. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What specific steps has the government put in place to, begin, to begin this consultation that it has talked about at the bond negotiations if this is to be taken seriously by this parliament and the international community then presumably you have in place a series of steps that you've already begun around this consultation what are they the honorable dr next uh, mr speaker the first step is to get very good quality information including economic analysis on the impacts of various targets. Uh, for instance, uh, if we're going to set to a 
bold reduction target in emissions by 2020, we need to be honest with New Zealanders about what the cost of that will be. So the government will be bringing that information together so that we can have an honest dialogue with New Zealanders about what an appropriate 2020 target should be. Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I is he aware that at the conference there have been extensive comments that New Zealand is not taking the negotiations seriously and that New Zealand is treating the negotiations with contempt by not naming a target and by saying that it's going to begin a consultation process back in New Zealand to determine a target? And does he not believe that this will have a significant impact on New Zealand's clean and green reputation, which is worth at least $1 billion in expert, export earnings every year? The Hon. Uh, Dr Mr Nick Speaker, Smith. neither myself, my officials or my associate, Minister Tim Grosser, have received any such comments uh, from other countries or organisations. In fact, the context I have had is that countries have been very aware of the unique emissions profile that New Zealand has, and when in the last year the government's figures have changed by more than a billion dollars around forestry, around forestry, then it is the government's view. Actually, the question, Mr Hughes, is about climate change, if you hadn't noticed that when there's been a shift of more than a billion dollars in a single 12 months, it is absolutely responsible of the New Zealand government to want to get reliable figures before we make such an important commitment. Question number